how does an adult find inspiration and find purpose? Well, so this week I was teaching at a girls' school and one girl asked me a question. It's a very, very tough question. She said, how do I overcome bullying? I was like, wow. I said, I don't understand your situation. I don't understand your circumstances. I don't understand who the bully is, what situation that's coming in, physical, verbal, social media. I said to her, I don't know. But the one thing I can tell you is this. When you join something, you meet new people. You open your mindset. You allow new people to come into your life. Go and join something. So to a lot of people who struggle, who, who went through a difficult time as a child and grown up and never had this inspiration, the biggest mm -hmm. thing I say to people is, you were never given an opportunity to meet somebody. Now it's your choice and your opportunity. So go and meet somebody. Go join a club. It's for the dancing club, singing club, theater club, jujitsu, boxing, sports, running. Go and join a club. Because when you do that, you meet so many incredible people. Just a coach, you just meet a coach and the coach goes, hi, get in. And you think, I don't even know you. You just said, just get in. So I just did. and. When I left, I felt amazing. That's what coaches do. That's what these people who run these clubs do. They're the inspiration. They're there to support you and encourage you and get you to that next step. So I said to this young girl, go join the club. And when you do join the club, send me a message on social media. I don't answer my social media. I've got a couple of people that do it for me. But they will send the message to me and you will get a reply. But do me a favor, join the club and you will see the difference. Because I know when you join a club, your confidence grows and everything is to do with confidence. When you have the confidence to look at a bully and say, are you talking to me? Are you starting on me again? You have that confidence which says, go away, which says, leave me alone. And only that, then you build friendships. You have a team behind you. You have other things. But lots of times what happens to the people that own the own. Find it so yeah, it's exactly that. It's just differences that people pick on, isn't it? And then with regards to being an adult and not having that direction and that feeling of lost, I think if you if you do join a club and me playing football for years and then getting a few injuries and not being able to play football, yeah, I felt a little bit lost for a few years. I tried a few different things and then eventually, obviously, now I, I do jujitsu and I love that. I think there's nothing else quite like it, especially yeah. as an adult. I think. You probably agree mm -hmm. that is somewhere where you can go and everyone's really friendly, but also you're kind of kicking each other's head in and it's, yeah. it's a real good stress reliever and you have yes. nothing else to worry about yeah. at that point. Mm. Yeah, I think the, the, the we, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, we had a GP on and we were talking about sort of men not talking and being isolated and it's something we talked about then, wasn't it? That, that, that community that you get as a result and the camaraderie and the trust yes. that you build. Is, is, is amazing for, and, and, I, and I've seen it because I've done it for years. I've seen people coming in, men and women, who have come in and they've had no confidence and you've just seen the transformation. You've seen yes. them grow both physically and mentally and, yeah. and they, they, well, they become completely different people. I yeah. think it's physically as well. I think yeah. when you, yes, especially with like maybe doing a combat sport or mm. any, any sort of sport, but you, you physically change and yeah. you know, you feel better about yourself. You, you feel more confident. You can speak to it's, people. It's everything. everything. You walk different. You look different. Yeah. You... You might have a smile on your face. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the big yeah. difference. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's this whole thing that happens when you allow yourself to mix with others. I always find yeah. as well, adults in general, I think they get to a certain point and some people kind of just give up with stuff like yeah. that. And I always think to them, like, they go, oh, you know, I'm, I'm 30s now. What's that? What's what the <laughs> You're fuck a baby. is 30? You're, You're a nothing. baby. Yeah. Like what? I still feel like a kid. Yeah. Honestly, I feel no different to when I was 20. So yesterday. Do you know what I mean? Like still acting like a kid. I'm still a knob. That's I still it. wind everyone up. <laughs> I mean, in general, I am. Uh, but when I speak to some people, you need to speak to them and they go, yeah, no, I'm 35 now. Oh, I can't believe when people say that. So for me, the crazy thing, so yesterday this little girl asked me, so Toby, how old are you? And the first thing was about to come up when I was 16. Because <laughs> I am still at the age of 16. I'm still doing backflips, yeah. windmills. I'm 36. And I know I'm going to be in my 80s. And I'm still going to be busting out, still yeah. doing it, still having a good time. Because to me, it's this, I would not let society to tell me, well, Toby, pack it in. Yeah. Toby, draw in the lines. Toby, the elephant should be grey. Nah, my elephant is pink with polka dots, man. <laughs> Mango wings and everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm still that child. And because of that, I do what I love. And I will never allow anyone to take that away from me. I do what I love and I do it every single bloody day. Mm.